With the Riverside Movement Disorder Center, we treat a condition called essential tremor. So essential tremor is the most common tremoring condition that we encounter um, and that exists out there. It's mainly tremors that are present when people are doing things, so an action type tremor. So with writing, eating, having shaking of the hands. So we do a lot of work on diagnosing that condition as well as making sure it's not something else more severe and also having a treatment approach using either medications, therapies, or potentially some procedural treatments for it. We have known essential tremors for about 400 years now, but unfortunately we don't have a single treatment that cures it. The essential tremor actually comes from three parts of the brain. I mean, it's not just three parts of the brain, but we know that these three parts kind of, you know, collaborate uh, to cause essential tremors. So the thalamus, the midbrain, and the cerebellum. Cerebellum is in the back of the brain, and these parts of the brain actually steady our hands and steady the movements. So if you're actually trying to pick up something, the reason why our hands curl to pick up a cup or you know our hands go flat to pick up a phone, things like that, or even assess the weight of these things, these are because of these three parts of the brain. When essential tremor starts causing problems, what happens is that steadiness goes away and our brain's ability to assess the fine requirement of fine you know, motor control goes away. Not completely, but gradually goes away, which causes that shakiness to happen. So when someone's initially diagnosed with essential tremor, uh, we first determine if they actually need treatment at all. Sometimes it's just a matter of determining what it is that's going on with someone. And if it's not severe, it's not really interfering with quality of life, they may not necessarily need a treatment. If they are to the point where it's bothersome or embarrassing or it is getting in the way of day-to-day -day life, a lot of times we'll use medications for a first treatment approach. Um, there's a, a handful of medications that we use to reduce the tremoring symptoms. Uh, alternatively, there's some braces or some adaptive devices that we can get a hold of that help reduce some of the tremoring symptoms. Or if it's disabling or much more severe, a lot of times we'll have our neurosurgical colleagues get involved as well. And thankfully, Riverside has brought in a few good treatment modalities that are fairly new. So one of them is deep brain stimulation surgery, which has been around for about 10 to 20 years now. We used to do that for Parkinson's disease patients. Now we do that for essential tremors more often. Uh, the other treatment, which is the non-invasive surgery, we, we say that uh, because it doesn't involve any cutting or we don't have to drill a hole in the head or anything like that. This is based on a principle that you can use, ultrasound. They come in pretty much like how you would use the sun rays uh, with a magnifying glass. So we have all played with that thing, right? We use a magnifying glass, bring the sun rays on together into one spot and you burn a piece of paper or a piece of wood, right? Just like that, you can bring all the ultrasound, you know, rays into one spot. And that tiny spot in the brain called the thalamus is the spot, the epicenter of these tremors. So you can burn a tiny hole in that area without causing any problems in the, else, in the other parts of the brain. And this can actually stop the tremors from happening. Now, it's not a cure. Obviously, we can see patients starting to show tremors about five to seven years later, but it's not as bad as before. And vast majority of patients, if they are in their 60s or 70s who get this procedure done, they get about 10 years of good tremor control as far as we can see based on our you know, collection of data so far. So it's a very effective treatment. And we have two doctors, Dr. Lamb and Dr. Savan, who actually does this for us. So. Yeah, plenty of feedback from patients that say that this has been life-changing.